everybody. This is Melissa, your Free Range Psychic. Today is April 17th, 2022. And I want to wish everybody celebrating Easter a happy Easter and everybody celebrating Passover a happy Passover. Today I am going to do an update on the Russian oligarchs. How are they feeling now with this horrific war going on uh, with the intent to destroy Ukraine, this genocide? And the world's reaction to it, which is sanctions directly hitting where they live. How do they feel about Putin? How do they feel about the war? What's going on? Because they are the power brokers of, of Russia and intimately entwined with, with Putin. But you'll see that in the reading. I'm using the Cyril Marchetti Gilded Tarot for the reading and I am using the Diana Cooper Angel deck, uh, Angels of Light cards for the Oracle. Um, this is the back of one of these cards. I, I love this uh, uh, illustration. So the card that my guides gave me, and they gave, give me these cards psychically, and then I ask them, well, why did you choose that card? And this is, this is similar to the card that we got for Greg Abbott when I did the past life reading. This is the emperor upside down. This is the little dictator. So my guides showed me that it's not that they think that they're kings or princes under their emperor, who's Putin. They actually each, because of their egos, feel like they are all emperors. And even though they are subservient to Putin, they are so wealthy and so powerful, at least in their own minds, but I think probably practically and realistically because of the amount of money they have and the power that Putin gives them, they each own an empire. That's their, their perception of, of who they are little emperors. Well, each of them individually thinks they're big emperors, <laughs> but that's what the guides wanted to characterize them as, a little, little dictators. Above is their master, the devil, and this is Putin. And the way that Putin structured his government is to own a part of all of the businesses and all of the assets of the little little emperors. He's the the big emperor. <laughs> he's the he's the real leader, in him, and that's how he set it up. It's powerful organization to have these uh, henchmen at his be behest. Is it behest or bequest? <laughs> um, and there you go. In the past, nine of cups. So this card is the decadence of the lifestyles of these men who can have anything they want. We're looking at greed and gluttony and the enjoyment of, of this lifestyle. And the greed is unfathomable. There is never enough for these people. Not money, not material goods, not all the hookers in the world. Not that there's, I'm not 
disrespecting uh, sex workers, so to speak, but you know, everything's transactional for them. So whatever they want and no consequences. Underneath, this is the Five of Swords. You know, it wouldn't really make sense if this card didn't turn up for these oligarchs. And this is an interesting uh, interpretation that my guides gave me, which is, okay, initially, here you go, with Putin putting these narcissists to work to attack American democracy and other democracies. And at the beginning of this video, you saw the political charts of the connections uh, between our government uh, under Trump and the Republicans. And not just the Trump administration, but other people like Sater working for Trump and the oligarchs and the, you know, the GRU and and the and Putin, etc. And the intent was to sow division, turn people uh, uh, against people within nations. This is Brexit, where they literally ex exploited social media to bring on this nationalism, this big divide, and then breaking off Britain from Europe, from from the rest of Europe, which was Russians intent, just like breaking up NATO. So the Western world becomes weaker. But what has happened is that the instability and the fin di disastrous financial consequences that the war in Ukraine is continuing to bring and now this is infighting and this is just not the uh oligarchs fighting amongst themselves where we have several breaking off and condemning th this invasion but <laughs> this is also their anger at putin so where whereas putin ruled with an iron fist no longer it, is this the case because what was the besides compromise which i think that these oligarchs are <laughs> they're not really affected by compromise uh the way I, I guess i was meaning the way that you know he controls allegedly you know some of our house members and our our senators etc possibly you know um not possibly, <laughs> what am I saying, possibly Trump, and uh, I mean, it's pretty literally out there. I'll, I keep on saying allegedly just to kind of protect myself, but uh, this is now them not feeling so controlled by Putin because his control over them, money. And so with the consequences of Ukraine and the sanctions and their yachts <laughs> uh, being, uh, is it remanded, taken into custody? They, there's nowhere they can really go that's where they want to go, I should say, that's safe for them. Their lives of luxury, they're being imperiled now to, to a great extent everything's under threat all the, the banks even alta bank is being sanctioned the the united front of the europeans sorry your western world's the european and the american uh, uh, policies are getting them where they live and they don't know what to do there Oh my gosh, like running around with their, their heads cut off like chickens. But their anger is now tr really, really turning towards Putin, but not just their anger. It's the doubt of whether he is able to even run the country because we hear the rumors of Putin's potential illness and both mental and physical, his losing grasp on reality. They see this as weakness, 
And so everything that they got from him is 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 now with withdrawn. And so what are they going to do? <laughs> what are they going to do about this man, about Putin? And they're allegedly, at least what my guide showed me, there's talk about taking this person out, taking Putin out. Is it going to be through poisoning? Is it going to be just, you know, through some violence? Is he just going to disappear? How are they going to do this thing? And then who is going to be in control after Putin leaves? How are they going to fix things so they can go back to living this um, devil may care life, you know, where they don't have to worry about anything and they're just, oh, that's right. That's that's the uh, meaning of this card too is in addiction and, um, in, you know, the Neptunian cup as aspect of things where they can just take all the drugs they want and drink as much as they want, etc., and really not have have to worry about anything and Ind indulging in their uh, desires. Yeah, that's that's the meaning of this card too. In the future, my guide show me the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords, interestingly, in this card, it's not just as you would imagine, which I believe is going to happen and it's played out in this reading the oligarchs themselves, oligarchs or, or oligarchs, being uh, destroyed by their own karma, but by their own activities. Because if you depend on, and, and, and it's, it's not, it's not that they had a choice if they did have a choice, it's, but it, to get what they I wanted to live in that kind of luxury. They had to acquiesce to Putin. That was the game. That was how it was set up. And surely the rewards were great for them. But now that he's weaker, they're also weaker. And the world is not just blaming Putin, but these oligarchs too. There are consequences for them too. But this is also Putin, this... Uh, well, yes, this man underneath the swords. And these are the olig oligarchs <laughs> raining down on him. So they're bringing him down using their swords. <laughs> the clarifying card for this reading, Six of Pentacles. So this was the relationship that I was describing that we were pretty much all aware of, I think, that here's... The control that Putin has had over these oligarchs. I'll give you this, but you you give me that. I give you this, but I'm going to take a portion of that. You set up a business, but I'm really going to own it. Everything belongs to me, and I'm just going to uh, give you rewards. But you're not going to own anything. You may think you're little dictators. I'm going to make you feel like that, but you are owing to me. You are under me, and I am in full control of this situation. You will do what I tell you to do. The future, the outcome is the tower. So my guides tell me this is the disastrous end of Putin's reign. But when Putin falls, the oligarchs fall. These are the oligarchs <laughs> falling out of the tower to their demise. And this is coming up. This isn't about Ukraine. This is about Russia, but it could be about the consequences of the attack on Ukraine, actually. That it could be causing the, the falling out of the tower. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, but this is, this is happening to the Russians. I hope you found this reading interesting. I really like political ch charts. This this web they, they 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 illustrated it so clearly all these connections, and that was um, published in twenty seventeen. So when you saw Jeff Sessions, do you remember, remember Jeff Sessions? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be surprised if Bill Barr and these other people 
show up in these connections. Everybody's got to be connected. It's the tower where we go one, we go all that Q saying. Everybody's connected. Everybody has to be connected again because Putin needs to be in full control and everything has to come back to him. Everybody associated with the Republican Party, with few exceptions, the ones at, anyway who support still the idea of the big steel and the uh, January 6th attempted coup. You know, MTG comes to mind, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and who's outwardly supporting Putin and the the invasion, the genocide. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this reading in the comments below. I always so much love your interaction with this channel and the community that has, has built up. It's wonderful and I'm so grateful. Okay, on to our oracle card. <laughs> the oracle card that the guides chose for us today I don't know if you can see it. Detachment. Yeah, there you go. According to spiritual law, you can have anything your heart desires. However, if your happiness, sense of security, or feeling of power depends on someone or something in your life, then you are attached to that person or thing, and it's a chain which binds you to a lower frequency and keeps you stuck. Your guidance is to ask the angels to help you cut the cords that tie you to people, things, and emotions. When all attachments are released, you can no longer be manipulated emotionally. This enables you to reclaim your power and be genuine. Free your spirit and that of others. Let go now. Affirmation. I release everyone and everything. My spirit is free. So that is my uh, reading today, and I, I am still available for personal readings. My information is below in the description box, and at the end of the video, there is a musical interlude that I hope you stick around for and enjoy. And oh, I almost forgot about this. <laughs> so, you know these uh, poor poll numbers that Biden's getting? 33% or whatever and 40, which I don't, I think that's completely ridiculous. 40%. I think the Quinnipiac poll was 33 recently. That's stupid. And my guides told me, because I asked them, I said, well, what is the real, what would be the real poll number if these polls were actually reflecting what the American people really think? Because I, I truly believe the polls are skewed and I think it, they've been weaponized that the Republicans have been really busy behind the scenes con taking control of our media. So I, I asked, what is the real percentage? <laughs> and my guide said 60% approval, that Biden has a 60% approval rate. If you really were honest about it and you got the zeitgeist of uh, the country, it's it's up there. <laughs> so what, and, and I, I, you know, I'm just one person. I, I'm i not going to say that this is written in stone or anything because I know that if you come back at me, I, I understand. I'm not the mainstream media or whatever, but but that's what they told me. FYI, 60% of approval rating, and we're getting a very false view of what the truth is. We're being gaslighted to a really high degree. And so I asked them, well, will this ever turn around? Will this change? And they said, yes, it will change. Because behind the scenes, the Biden administration is looking into these kinds of uh, uh, foreign influences and they're going to eradicate them and things will turn around. We may not understand outrightly kind of what's going on or we may not be aware of it, but behind the scenes, yes, we and it's not like. Biden's the Biden administration is going to kind of grab the media for their their own uses. They just really want a fair and balanced representation 
of what's going on for the news to really be the news, to give us the truth and we can make up our own minds. That's not happening right now, not, not so much. Okay, hope you enjoyed this reading. I love you. Enjoy your day and I will be back next week, okay? You guys take care, bye-bye.